My name is Andrea Joseph. Dee Musgrove was my partner for 13 years. We lived together in Las Cruces, New Mexico. When Dee died, the government said we were strangers. We raised a son and took care of each other, for better or worse. We were a family, not strangers. Dee died suddenly of a heart attack while we were vacationing in Mexico. I had no legal rights in getting her body back home. Only her teenage son was considered next of kin. We went to Cancun, Mexico for a one-week vacation, and we just, we had the best week, I think, that we've had in forever. We went uh, on this snorkeling adventure. At the very last place that we were snorkeling, Dee started getting, she started getting tired. <laughs> and she has to take a rest. And then she was having a hard time catching her breath. Then Dee turned to me and she said, I love you. <laughs> and I said, I know, sweetie, I love you too. And I told her she was gonna be okay. And then she just collapsed in my arms. And then when her heart gave out, we started uh, CPR, and when the paramedics got there, they worked on her for a while, and, and that was it. The police asked me my relationship, and I just automatically said, wife. Dee and I were married in a church in Santa Fe, and that's what she was. She was my wife. The U.S. consulate agent, she was asking me questions, and that was when it occurred to me that in my heart she was my wife, but legally she wasn't. They needed the next of kin, Dee's 19-year-old son, to release Dee's body. Instead of my being able to take care of it that night, Michael had to make a phone call. He had to go find a notary and take care of all of this. My son had to deal with something that he shouldn't have had to deal with. <laughs> Dee and I were contacted to work with the ACLU in trying to get um, domestic partnership, civil unions, something, recognition of our relationship in the state of New Mexico. It was something that Dee especially wanted to do. In our relationship, Dee was the outspoken um, she was the, the bubbles. <laughs> so she wanted to participate and do this interview. It's too important. It's too important. People want to have the same recognition. And I say people, not gays, lesbians, transgendered. People, we're people. But in our minds, we were married. We were married under God. We wanted to be recognized by the state that we lived in and by the country that we were citizens of. Michael said recently how blessed he is because how many kids lose a mom and still have a mom. I'm highly optimistic that we can get the legislature to see that this is an important issue. I'm just sorry that Dee won't be here when that happens. Because by golly, we would have celebrated. <laughs> For more information about my story and others, please visit the American Civil Liberties Union website. You can also learn how your story can make a difference.